Hello, people. Welcome to this program where we learn how to build a mail sending program in Go. Basically, we want to be able to send email using any SMTP service on the internet. We're going to be using this library, Go Mail. So let's go ahead and install Go Mail. Let's do Go Mod in it. Put it in my GitHub. GitHub. Let's come slash Jeffrey slash Miller. Right, so go get. So we've now installed Go Mail. I'll create some folders. The template is where we keep the email programs, and then I'll touch Mela.go. Also touch CMD CLI main.go. I think that's about it. So let's do package main. This is where we are going to run our program. Let's print hello world. And then we should be also package mailer. We'll come back to this shortly. Let's do go run CMD CLI. We should see hello world right here. Fantastic. Next step is to work on the mail itself. So I need a config, mail config, which I think we can call it mailer config. We're going to need a timeout. Time dot duration. So this is of type struct. I'll need the host. We'll need the port. We'll need the username. Password. Both of them are strings. I'm going to need the sender, which is also a string. Case, but let's make the template part configurable as well. Then we need the mailer type itself. We need the dialer, which is a pointer to the remember the program that we installed this mailer. So we are bringing in the dialer, dot dialer. I have a config here. This is this one. And lastly, I'll put the sender here. Let's create a function to help us create an instance. So we'll just pass it the config. And this may config. And that should give us a new instance. Um, I create a dialer instance, which is mail dialer so host port username password let's configure the timeout which is our config timeout and then time to return mailer we need to set the dialer now. Set the sender to config sender. What else? I think that's about it. It's about it. Uh, config. Config. Last method is we need the so we need a way to send the email now. The way I'm thinking about it is let's say you say n equal to this new that new function that we just created. I want you to be able to do m send and then you put like the two and then maybe the file you are going to send welcome.html and maybe data. Something like that. This should return an error. So let's go ahead and make that happen. 
That means we need to add the method to this. Send, we say to, we say string, to template file. Uh, both are strings. Data, like we said, will be an interface and potential error. If we do not have a config template path, I would like to set this to templates by default. All right, that's out of the way. Next is to is to execute templates. So create an instance of Go template, and then we can execute for type for subject, plain, plain body, and HTML. So first we need the instance of uh, template. So new, we just call it uh, email and pass what we are we passing file. So let's pass FS so we can embed the file. So template FS, I'll create that shortly. M.config dot template path plus the template file. So we need to create this. I'll bring it up here. Go embed this. So var this embed dot fs. So we have it imported. But there's nothing here, so let's put uh, HTML here. We'll, we'll come back to this file shortly, but let's con let's finish up this one quickly. So let's check one error. All right. Next is to execute the template. So. In our template, for instance, we are going to have define, let's say, subject. And uh, let's say, welcome to our site. Right? So we need to execute this subject, for instance. So we'll say uh, subject byte dot buffer. That would hold our subject. So we take our template object and we execute template. What are we executing? So this one, subject. And uh, we are passing any data that we might have. Basically, we check for error again. This is a classic way of coding in Go anyway. So we need this, we need for subject, we need for plain body, Plain body, we need for subject plain body, we need for HTML body, HTML body. And I think that is about it. Message, new message. This is coming from the library that we've, we just included, this instance. If you've done anything with the Rotis, um, SMTP before you, you know how that the two recipients and all these things are just headers. So, so two, two is uh, two, we have it here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it three times. One for subject. Subject is, uh, we already have subject. So the string version of it. Subject from from is m dot sender. This is why I had I included it the second time, and we need to set body. Which is the plain body. We need to add alternative. text slash HTML, which is the HTML body. All right. 
and after that we return the dialer send and then pass it message so this is everything at the moment if you run our program you still get the hello world because nothing is there yet so let's make it work so the config mailer dot mail config host let's put lo local host for now port to five username not just just blank password just blank what else timeout Let's make it five seconds. Time dot seconds. I think that's about it for now. No sender. I would call it. Uh, let's just put John Doe for now. What else? Think that's about it. So I would say sender. It's me dot new just pass it the config at this point error sender dot send to John Doe again let's say example dot com the file we are sending a sender HTML what else no data so we can keep it near if we do have an error and log theta there. If not, happy path. It may send. Of course, we expect the error. We expect this portion of the code now to run. So let's run it. And that is exactly what we have. No template, plain body. So let's, let's do plain body. I can say plain body of the email or there is a Lauren that we can borrow. Alright. I just copy this as HTML body. But this time around I'm going to include HTML. So HTML5. Container H2 um, Then the rest is uh, Another paragraph Let's start this container a little bit This is uh, just uh, Extra stuff Max width is let's give it 700 pixel. Padding of 20 pixel. What else? Uh, border. Solid gray color. And uh, make it one pixel. All right, so let's go back, run our code again. Still going to return an error because we don't have the good SMTP settings yet. Next step is to open Maytrap. So this is Maytrap. It's a platform that developers can use to test their emails. And so when you send a mail, it will trap the email basically for you to see the content here. So I'm logged in. I'll go ahead and add an inbox. I call my inbox YouTube. And then I'll click on the inbox and view my XMTP credentials. Now, don't worry about this username and password you're seeing. I'll have them deleted before you watch the video. So the port, I'll take that port. The port 255, so I just take the username, username, bring back the browser, take the password. We need the host. And that's about it. So we can keep it here and I'll just let me reduce the my code ID window. So we can see how it works. So let's run the code now. So it's saying connection refused. Connection refused. Let's try the 255 port. Email sent. Fantastic. And this is the email. Look at it. Plain body. 
though it's not plain body, but we didn't change it here, right? So we can say HTML body. I'll run it again. See, HTML body. So it works. So this is for mail trap. Now let's look at how to do it with Amazon SES. You come to Amazon and you click on simple email service. You create an identity. I will use my email for now. I'll be blurring out my email, but you can put your own email. So I've just clicked on it. So right now I'm going to check my email box for the verification link. The verification link is here. So I'll go ahead, copy it and paste it here, run it. Validated now. So my email is ready for sending and receiving. So because we are currently on the sandbox environment, you can only send and receive from this email address until you apply to go live. For me, this is enough. So I will go ahead and click the dashboard, account dashboard, scroll down to SMTP settings. First of all, let's take the boost. We're going to have to change this from Maytrap now to Amazon. And for the port, they have uh, three ports here. I'll take this one. So what we need now is we need to change the username and password and the image. So I'll go ahead and click Create SMTP Credentials. While that page is opening, I'll go ahead and change this to my email address. Now that I've updated this to my email address, I will click on create, you can type anything you like here, but I'll just leave the default, show credential. So this is the username, this is the password. Like I said, don't worry about me showing it. I'll have them deleted before you know. Now that we have updated the credentials, without changing our code, let's click run. It may send. So I'm watching my Gmail now, and the mail just came in. So let me bring it over for you to see. So this is the email. So as you can see, we are able to send email using any SMTP provider. We have tested with it Amazon and Maytrap. Thank you for watching. Please support my channel by subscribing. Leave a like, leave comment. Thank you and do have a nice day. Bye.